Hello and welcome everyone and to another video series from IT Sense. My name is Faisal and in this series we'll talk about how to resolve duplicate identities issues with Office 365. Like in other words hard and soft matching. How to perform hard and soft matching to resolve duplicate identities in Office 365. If you are an Office 365 admin, you know what I'm talking about. It could be really painful. Or if you are not the early adopter of Office 365, or in one way, was very early adopter of Office 365, and you did not have any syncing solution in place, like Azure AD Connect, or in a few years back, it was called Dar. Dar sync. Uh, then you know what I'm talking about. A painful procedure to maintain cloud identities as well as on-prem identities, and ultimately you don't want that, right? You don't want you want one single identity for Office 365 as well as for your on-prem one password, one identity, access everything. Right? You want to achieve that, you try to sync, but sometimes it doesn't work that way. It doesn't allow, it creates, instead of merging or syncing two identities to become one, it creates a duplicate or another user. Or sometimes it just simply refuse to match on-prem identity with cloud-based identity. What could be possible scenarios for this? As you know, duplicate objects, as I say, user accounts, on-prem AD, as well as in Office 365. For example, they have same proxy address or UPN, right? Um, or sometimes proxy and UPN addresses are not matching and you try to sync and it creates a separate user. Or, as I mentioned earlier, most likely in the past, you have used some Office 365 services, and at that time, there was no direct resync solution via AD Connect or DirSync was present. So you created cloud-based identity users or cloud-based users in Office 365 for your users to use those services. And now it's time for you to sync because you won't, ultimately it's becoming pain to manually provisioning users in cloud in addition to provisioning users in on-prem for other rest of the stuff and you want to maintain and automate this procedure and keep one identity you want to do that but fortunately it's not happening it may give you an error like attribute value must be unique right so if this is not happening or sync is not and it's you're getting instead of getting a single synced account that sort of merging two two identity identities get merged together you see a separate account show up it gets synced but it's synced as a separate account instead of merging with existing cloud account right so these problems are very very common Another example is your account was deleted on-prem and you recreated and now you want to sync and merge with your uh, cloud account, but it's not happening. In this case, you have no option but to do some hard merge sort of a thing. So now basically it's time to simplify all this. So what I'm looking for in my environment, in lab environment, to simplify things by syncing objects to Azure AD using Azure AD Connect and use one account for all the services like on-prem as well as Office 365. So one password, one account, one identity. Um, goal is basically to perform merge slash match, match or merge. You will see these two terminologies or terms a lot basically it's the same thing we talked about so goal is to perform merge or slash match between on-prem and cloud identity to unify the account right without losing associated office 365 mailboxes 
or any other services including the license right so there are two type of match or merge we can do soft match or merge and hard match soft match it's easy to implement all we have to do is just make sure that the on-prem user user principal name and proxy address is exactly same like Azure AD based user or cloud based user you user principal name and proxy address aka login name and email address in simple words so when we do the sync if as long as these two things matches you know merge happens and two different identities get synced or matched as one but this is not always successful so if that's the case then hard merge is the one that you need to do hard merge is the process when we stem basically object on-prem object on GUID you know uh, for example of you have a user account the user account has an object GUID attribute in Active Directory we take that attribute right convert it to a base 64 value and then stamp that value into immutable ID attribute of cloud-based user so this is like a hard matching process so at the end GUID and immutable ID becomes one you can't just take copy the object again you can't just copy the object GUID and write the same value or or stick the same value or stamp the same value you need to convert it to base 64 value and then you can stamp that as immutable id so ad if you do that then that's the way in hard matching that's the only way that azure ad connect tool will be able to identify the right account and sync to make changes to it so source and destination immutable id and object grid matches azure ad connect will be able to merge or match that account so at the end you will achieve your goal to have a single account so azure ad connect by default you know uh, actually not yeah it looks for source anchor attributes which by default goes to msds consistency guid attribute right and this is the by default select the source anchor in older version it was object guid and in newer version also if you don't exclusively define this attribute ultimately it's, it's the object guid so just keep this in mind that whenever Azure AD connect try to sync objects and try to perform a match or merge uh, it tries to do hard match first before attempting the soft match okay two important points number one you can't synchronize admin accounts for example any account with global admin rights won't get synced if you want that account to get synced remove remove that account from the global admin role or under admin role sync it and once it's got synced then after that you can add it again no problem another thing while you are performing this match and if users are working they will get logged out log out from their outlook or anything they are working office 365 services so it's better to do it after hours or at least perform or at least inform them that it's going to happen this is the lab scenario in my case i have on-prem domain active directory domain called itsense.local and i have four user accounts user 01 user 02 user 03 user 04 all four of them have the default user principal name of itsense.local 
as you know itsense.local is a non routable domain right i don't have any on prem exchange so and at the moment i don't have any sync process so it means i have accounts on prem as well as i have manually created cloud based identities or cloud accounts and created mailboxes for my users so at the moment my users when they access on the lan network right and access on prem services they use this account to log in and it has its own password and when they use office 365 services they use these accounts which is for example in user01 at itsense.net because my itsense.net domain it's my public domain it is registered and verified and added in office 365 subscription so i have user accounts for user1 user2 and user3 in office 365 and of course this account has its own password so it's not easy right so that's what's happening office 365 with duplicate cloud identities like one and one here right and with exchange online mailboxes mailboxes belongs to this associated with these accounts not this accounts okay because i don't have any on-prem exchange so the solution is what I want to achieve right now. I want to introduce an Azure AD Connect server, right? And I want to sync. I want to sync. Okay, sorry, I want to yeah, I want to sync my user accounts to Office 365, right? Over TCP four, TCP port 443. So I want to introduce Azure AD Connect and as my Office 365 domain is managed, I want to use password hash sync okay i want to use password hash sync and i want to synchronize my user account to office 365 but the problem is it won't be straightforward as i said because already there are some of my users have accounts in office 365 so when I sync my on-prem accounts with Office 365, I don't want two different accounts for user one, two different accounts for user two, and two different accounts for user three. User four will get a unique account because user four doesn't have any cloud-based account. So when this user gets synced, no problem. But what about if I sync user one, user two, and user three, and they already have an account? I don't want an, another account to be created in cloud as a synced account, which won't serve my purpose, right? Because mailbox and Office 365 license is associated with these accounts, right? So I want to ultimately merge these three accounts or match these three accounts, right? with these three and for that I need to do some preparation right what are what are the preparation what type of preparation involved or what steps are there well let's see the implementation steps are First, as, as I mentioned, that the local domain is itsense.local, which is a non-routable domain. This domain cannot be registered, of course, with Office 365. And my itsense.net is already registered with Office 365, right? So what I have to do, I have to add a UPN suffix for itsense.net in Active Directory Domains and Trust. Okay. 
Once I do that, I need to set UPN for all my user accounts to match itsense.net. Okay, which is my Office 365 public domain. Once I achieve that, I also need to make sure that the primary SMTP addresses, which aka the email address attribute for my users, also matches the email address what they have in Office 365. Okay. When I will do when I will do a demo, I will show you everything step by step. Right? So once we do that, then we will start by performing hard matching. And how we will perform hard matching? By stamping object GUID, convert to base64 value, and stamp that value to immutable ID of cloud object. There is no GUI way to do it. We will do it through via PowerShell. I can't type. Okay, okay. So we need to import module MS Online or Azure AD so we can work with PowerShell of Office 365. Then we will install and configure Azure AD Connect. Initially, we will sync just test OU first with a couple of users to ensure everything works. Our merge slash sync happens as expected and successful. And after that, we test the mailbox to ensure that after sync, there is no impact of on any service, user can still access their mailboxes, license are still intact, and they can access all their Office 365 services. Once everything is tested and successful, then we will do this steps for all other users. And keep this in mind, those users which are not in conflict, uh, doesn't matter because they don't have cloud accounts, so they won't be any issue, you can just sync them on the fly for example this user 4 the user 4 doesn't have a cloud account so that can be synced without any issue and finally as i mentioned we need to test to ensure that the users can access and use their office 365 exchange online mailbox after match and once we do that means we achieve our goal and everything is done and x and i would say everything is achieved the way we want to achieve all right it will be a success so all right guys now that was a theory and now it's a demo time and before we go to demo I would like to mention this article in TechNet Gallery talking about the hard matching and not only just talking about it, but it has a PowerShell script as well as a convertible tool that allows you to convert Active Directory object GUID to immutable ID like it automatically converts it to base64. So this is very handy. I will mention that link in the description. If you want to download it, download it. And maybe it might be helpful. All right. So now it's time for the lab. Or it's demo time. See you on the other side.